What's up guys, RSX Rotokaka here, and as you saw from the preview, I was not selected for the Bournemouth match, well you actually didn't see that from the preview, but I wasn't selected for the um, our home game against Bournemouth, so I decided, you know, I'm going to forget about that, I'm just going to practice, I'm just going to concentrate on the next game that was that's coming up, I'm just going to concentrate and maintain my fitness, so I obviously got ready, got my, my jogging stuff on ready, you know, got my car keys, made sure the house was clean before I left, made sure I locked up everything, and I was off, you know, off to the garage, and, on, and then off to, you know, to a place where I like to go to train to keep fit got in my car a nice little car you guys remember this car from the last episode I love this car it, it drives really well it's smooth it's, it's nice inside it's perfect I love it I love it I love it I love it but as I was saying you know so I decided okay I'm not selected for the match this weekend or I'm not selected for the match this upcoming match so I said I'm just gonna concentrate on keeping my fitness and I'm gonna concentrate on keeping my 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 ability basically um well actually before before we go into um, my little place where I keep get fit and keep fit I've got another little secret place for you guys this is where I like to come and relax and I like to just admire the view um, it's a nice little place it's it's a little hilltop that I found when I was you know in my down point and I really like it I, I basically really like it and over there there's a stadium over there and there's a tennis court and that's the running track I'm gonna be running that exactly what I'm doing I'm gonna be running keeping fit and this is a view it's it's, it's a beautiful view and I just want to show you guys this view um, quickly before we go down to the running track over there and but anyway as I was saying you know I wanna I'm going down to a running track to keep fit keep healthy keep my energy levels up and to make sure you know even when I'm not playing even when I'm not being chosen for the starting 11 or even when I'm not being chosen for the bench I'm still keeping fit I'm still keeping healthy and that's exactly what I do obviously when when you're running you gotta start off nice and easy guys start off nice and easy after a, a lap or two then you start putting it in you start really pushing it you start really pushing yourself and you start really going you start really get going get your body moving get the energy going that's exactly what I was doing you know I was doing laps I was in like so far I think I've done like six seven laps around here guys I was going non-stop obviously now and then I'll take a little water break but I was not stopping you know I'll be running water running water running water I lapped like these guys like a thousand times but you know that is exactly what I was doing just taking taking it easy then I full-on sprint jog full-on sprint jog water break you know that is exactly what I was doing and that's how I keep fit guys another way a little 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 tip for you guys just a little tip for you guys to keep fit but, you know, apart from that, we had our game, you know, we are playing against Bolton. We are doing pretty well, you know, I mean, they're sixth, although the, there's a big point difference. They are still six, you know, just below us. Big point difference, but they're still below us. So, obviously, it's coming to the end of the season, so the playoffs were important, and we are wanting to get into the playoffs, because you can clearly see we're not going to make top, you know, top two. We're not definitely going to make top two. So, it's now up to us to make, in, you know, make it into the playoffs. It's up to me to help 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 Watford make it into the playoffs and you know so we we have some fun with it but um Bolton like I said you know there's big point difference but somehow even with the big point difference even though they're playing rubbish this season they still scored a banger you know went through Davis you know, Davis's shot I don't know how you know it was a shot that went straight through the keeper's legs it went straight to him I don't know why he was in so much space I don't know why he was there to just receive it with no defenders closing him on closing in on him went through Davis's uh, went through Gomez's legs defenders legs and the keeper's legs and then again you know straight away they nearly scored again I don't know I don't know why but we were just really lackluster against Bolton Bolton really pressing at us Bolton really Given us, given it their oh, I think they're trying to prove something, trying to show that they're they're worth something, and you know they're in sixth place, but they're not a bad team. You know, over here was really my first couple of touches into the game. I was trying to get you know get it off the defender, but I didn't have that strength. I didn't have that ability to tackle him off him. But obviously, I didn't give up. You know, a, little, a bit of skill, a bit of dribbling, get a great little pass over there, but 
Anya just couldn't put the finish on it. Um, just couldn't put the finish on it. It was really unlucky. But again, I was trying to be there, you know, being that option for everyone, you know, a little dinking tear. Get the head. Oh my god, that was completely wide. That was completely wide. But just before the half, it's 1-0. We're trying to get a goal. I'm there. Open space. Completely beat defender. He's gone. Keep up one and one. Bang! There we go, guys. There we go. Great finish from me. Look at the celebration. Look at the celebration pointing to the sky. Look at that. Sliding with the hands out, guys. Sliding with the hands out. It was a great bowling. I think it was um, either Abdi. Uh, I think Abdi put in that great ball for me. And then you'll see a little fake shot to lose a defender. And then I put it straight to the keeper's open. Look at the open space. Look at the space he left open for himself. I don't know what he was doing. Don't know what kind of keeping that is. But it was a near post and completely left him for dead. Look at that celebration, guys. That is exactly what I'm here at Watford to do. You know, second half, Bolton, it was starting to press at us again you know they're starting to put on the pressure starting to try and make a comeback for themselves but it wasn't until later on in the second half you know there's a lot of possession play a lot of passing play but Bolton started playing a they started playing like an ultra attackive ultra attacking game and they were kind of having less defenders at the back which was you know it was good for us because they had less players at the back sorry so meaning we had more chances to break at them as you saw there you know we had more chances to break but I was unlucky to get those breaks and then I had a great chance here because we were playing auto attack and they had no defenders at the back and I was straight through you know straight through for one on one with the keeper hesitated and I flopped the one on one I don't know what happened I should have finished that that should have been like a 110% easy finish and then I had another chance you know one on one versus the defender all I needed to do was beat him then beat the keeper just about to beat him take it past oh my god the guy hacks me in the last minute but i don't care because you know 90 minutes four minutes guy gets a red card that is what we need this is my chance this is my chance or actually it's not my chance but this is our chance as a team you know completely beat him there so he had to go for the dirty tackle dirty player guys dirty player so this was it guys i didn't know what to do i decided i'm going to call it short hoping for a great ball to my feet Instead, he dinks it over, and that was such a waste of a ball. It was stupid. I, I don't know. It was just bad. It, it was bad. <laughs> but league objectives, I was happy. I completed my league objectives of, except for the average, you know, the average. Well, average. I didn't get the average, I think, is it match rating? I didn't get the average match rating, but I did complete my other league objectives, which was pretty good, which was the goals, really. Which is cool. I didn't get match rating, but I got my goals, which is what I'm supposed to be doing. You know, I'm a striker. I'm trying to get the goals. I'm trying to get the goals for the wins. So I'm I'm doing my job. I'm I'm basically doing my job. And we had Nottingham Forest at home. I'm happy to be playing at home because I love nothing. I love more than playing with the home fans, guys. You guys know that. You know, getting past these two guys. You know, left them for dead. Here we go. Where are you going, mate? Where are you going? I'm just dancing in the box, but it was unlucky. You know, we're well, at the edge of the box, but the header was just unlucky the cross was just unlucky but i'm trying to be there to be that option that be that option for the team you know trying to play our and you're back in defender loses it bang oh my god just in front of the keeper he had no chance it came with so much power and so much speed he didn't see that coming guys he didn't see that coming abdi there with another great ball this guy gives me assist day in and day out i think it was abdi it was either abdi or Anya there, I'm not sure, you know, don't quote me on that, but look at that, bang, obviously lost it from the defender, or I lost it from, against the defender, and then I took it straight back off him, and I went for the first time shot, and there was so much power on that, keeper had no chance against that, you know, so much power and speed, keeper had no chance against that, but, Nottingham Forest, look at them, before the halftime break, you know, Blackstock trying to go there with the header, which was really unlucky, it was a close header, if that got that, we would have been in deep trouble going into, you know, the second half, 1-0, uh, which is not what we want, we want to keep ahead in this whole game, and then obviously two of us there went for the header, which is like, you know, Sunday League football mistake, can't be having two people going for one ball, it's, it's, you can't do that, but anyway, as again, you know, we're trying to press, trying to, ooh, 
Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. trying to press, trying to keep them down, trying to stop them from coming back before it's too late. And you know, time's ticking, time's running out. So we're thinking, all right, this is it. We've won this match. You know, 87, 87 minutes. What are they going to do? And this is what they do. I don't know. He comes out of nowhere and completely finishes it, guys. He completely finishes it. I mean, look at the run. Look at his run. He came out of nowhere. No one was marking him. He came, literally, came out of nowhere. 1-0. Four minute, three minutes left. This is my chance to shine, and I get a dirty tackle in the penalty area. Literally, dirty tackle in the penalty area. And I was laughing because this is what we needed a yellow card. This is the second game in a row where it's been a last minute, and I get fouled. I get a dirty foul from you know the defender because they're running out of time and they're being all haste and crazy. Look at that, he didn't even need to dive in like that. He didn't even need to dive in like that, but I don't care. Well, I do care because I got taken off because I got a bit a bit of a sprained ankle because of that. You know, I put up sprained ankle, nothing much. I decided just to watch from the stands, see if we can get this goal, see if we can get this last minute goal, see if we can pull ourselves up. 90 minutes, this is his chance, put us ahead. This is his chance to just show, to just win the game for us. And what does he do? He completely skyrockets it. And that was another draw, guys, another unneeded draw draw another game where we could have easily put the game to bed especially at home we shouldn't be losing you know games to stupid goals at the end we shouldn't be losing to stupid mistakes in the end and we should be finishing penalties and stuff like that 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 was just the disappointing part of the game really that was that was just bad so yes after another disappointing draw it, we had Fulham at what away yeah we had Fulham away and it was our chance to uh, show that we're better than we're better than this we'll show that we can do something table wise we're doing all right you know Cardiff Norwich at the top no way we're going to catch them up you know it's just double points there's no way we're going to catch those lot up by the end of the season so really our aim was to get playoff and get promoted through our playoffs and that was what I was aiming to do you know help Watford get promoted and help them you know into a BPL and maybe maybe just maybe sign a few contracts and I could be playing for them next season but um, like I saying, Fulham, one of those teams that are doing not doing really well in the, uh, in the in the tables, and you know, a bad bad pass there in the middle led me to have my first shot on goal, which was a bit which was a bit terrible because it went straight to keeper's hands. You know, keeper was all over that, you know, and it took 21 minutes for Fulham to have their first shot on goal, and it was a skyrocket almost. You know, it was a bad bad shot and what six minutes six seven minutes later again we're breaking through Fulham because they just kind of I don't know their defense was slow they had a slow defense and they were nowhere to be found we we're just breaking at them really putting the pressure on them really pressing against them and constantly you know a little back pass there trying to hit Anya there obviously calling it here it's my chance to take a shot and it just hit wide it just hit wide it was a close shot but I thought I'd get it, get under control and see if I can get the curler with the left foot but obviously that left foot attribute that left foot weakness wasn't there and you know almost just before the break Fulham had a couple of crazy shots but it was rude for offside but really that was a wake up call for us that was that was madness they had a few shots on goal a few rebounds and that after that wake up call you know straight away Anya not Anya it was a great ball in it was Anya I'm not sure Anya gave me a great ball in and with the left foot banger got the left foot banger with the post hit the post and went in post and in great finish um, great ball through you know he picked me out from a mile away I think it was I think it was McGann there yeah I think it was Magande or one of those guys there, I, I can't say for sure, but Magande, one of those guys picked me out from a mile away, honestly, you know, great little touch there with outside of my foot, bang, and I completely beat the keeper on his near post, I don't know what, how, but the curl was there on my side there, the curl was on my team there, and it curled straight to post, and then Fulham, I don't know, but Fulham weren't playing really well this game, they were really under the you know we're dominating them we, we were dominating them you know just before the break they're still trying to press against us and they just got lucky Gomez I don't know wasn't on his toes the guy wasn't ready for it he McCormack it, it was a good finish 
but he shouldn't have got that space to shoot in that area he shouldn't be, have that space he shouldn't have all that time in the world to shoot it was a clear open shot and if it wasn't for that we still would be one up but it was a deadlock game guys it was a it became like just a slow possession game really it wasn't there wasn't much happening kind of to 50, 75 minutes on you know a little great passes there he tried for the shot but I was in with a rebound and I got it with the goal golasso guys the golasso my second goal this game can I get the hat trick that is what I was aiming for after the first two I was like you know what, maybe I can get a hat trick by the end of this game you know decided to finesse it near post for the keeper but just as we thought it was over, guess what guys, for the third game in a row, third game in a row with four minutes left, Fulham get an equaliser, can you believe that, four minutes left, Fulham get an equaliser, that has happened to us four games in a row, or is it three games in a row, four games in a row, it just keeps happening, we keep winning and then we just give it away through stupid equalisers, I'm getting tired of this. Hope you guys enjoy that, hope you guys like that, like, comment, subscribe, also click here for my previous video if you guys want to watch that, I recommend you do watch that. Also look at this right here, this is my Twitter, so follow that, keep updated. Hope you guys enjoy that, but take care guys, ladies, peace.